Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to this week's video. My name is Bia and this is the continuation of my last video which was the swatching and the unboxing of the Jade Purple Rabbit and Lapis Lullabies. A quick mention before we continue, I am part of Ferris Wool Press Investor Program but this video is not sponsored but you can use my code BBISHKART to get 10% off your next Ferris Wool Press order. Jade Purple Rabbit is their celebration of the Lunar Ear ink and the Lapis Lullabies is their newest fairy tales collection ink which is based of Sleeping Beauty which was not actually one of my favorite uh, movies of Disney while growing up, but now I really appreciate it. <laughs> I try my best to make a demo art with every single Ferris Wheel Press ink. Sometimes it doesn't happen. <laughs> and this one barely didn't. It was very rushed, the process of this whole drawing, because I have a big con coming up. I'm going again to Madrid in Japan weekend in February, and we are actually leaving on my birthday, which is on the 9th. So I, so I only have a few days left, so it's prep mode and it's been crazy. And also on my birthday, we're going to be spending eight hours on a bus. And so, yeah, it's going to be a fun one, I guess. <laughs> At least I'm with my friends. So it's been crazy prep time and just been quite stressful. So probably next week there won't be a video, it's just so I can relax or at least try and focus myself on everything, every single last detail of the con prep. And then on the week after the con, I might try and do a live with the haul of everything that I get, because I will most definitely try and get a few things because there are many amazing artists that are going. Talking about the process of this drawing, because I'm already starting. My idea, if you remember on my last week's video, if you haven't watched it, do check it out. I dropped the Lapis Lullabies in water and he did beautiful, amazing things and I really wanted to recreate that in this drawing, making sort of a character that was kind of engulfed slash submerged in water slash hair. <laughs> and so I just filled up the whole area that I wanted to be hair with water and then I just dropped the Lapis Lullabies on it. I did the skin with the purple jade rabbit and I just love that little spot that is on her face. I just really love it when inks do that and I really don't mind that it's on her face. I just really I just really enjoy it and I also like that it's on a place where you're going to see it because I find that feature of just separating very very pretty on inks so I really don't mind that it's on her face. Ink is already doing beautiful things but I definitely touched it way too much. I should have left it on its own, do its thing, do what it wanted and I just, I couldn't stop touching it and just like messing with it. I definitely should have stopped way, way earlier. And there are some bits of the drawing that definitely are overworked, especially in this hair area. So I don't know, I just, I will probably try and do this technique again in a different way because I really, really loved it. And there are not a lot of inks that I own that look as good as this one with this sort of technique. Uh, but maybe I should definitely just try and do, I don't know, try and do this technique with most of my inks because it was very nice and it's not something that I try every single time, but it was definitely something that helped me get an inspiration for this week's drawing because like I mentioned, it had been so busy that, oh, this one was pushed to very late. <laughs> I was, yeah, I'm doing this recording and editing the day before I post it, so it's, oh, it's been busy, guys. <laughs> And so as you can see, here it is dry and those spots that are just 
a blob. I, I should have left it alone. You see how beautiful it is near her face and under her arm. That could be everywhere. Why did I do that? I was, I was such a fool. <laughs> so when it comes to the face, I take a long time, especially drawing out the eyes. Since it's also something that I really enjoy, I don't mind that it takes me longer, but it's definitely a slow process and I find it really fun to see when I do real-time videos you'll see how actually slow I am with the brush when I'm doing eyes I just do very little brush strokes at a time and I just try and make it as nice as I can So my plan was to try and lift this ink with water, but it wasn't really budging. So what I did was something that I've, wanting to, I've been wanting to do for a while, which was to grab some bleach. <laughs> I've probably seen people painting with bleach around uh, on videos on internet. People usually do it on like black fabric, which is also something that I really want to try out in like the near future. I have some black totes that I printed out with white ink, but mm, what if I got some black totes and I just painted it with bleach? I just, it's something that's been on my mind recently and I think I really want to try it. And so I grabbed some bleach that I had lying around and I filled up the jar with maybe 25% of the bleach and then water. I would like to try out and do like different amounts to see probably the effect would be different, would be more severe, but it could also ruin the paper pretty easily. So it's something that I really have to experiment and see on just like testing papers. I did like the safe amount of 25% bleach and it worked very, very well. It would take a little bit of time for the line to show up. That is also very nice. I don't know, I liked that it would slowly start to show up. And some places it lifted better than others. I don't know if it had to do with the amount of pigment already on the page. I needed something to give more structure to this whole mess. If I just went with the ink again, I think it would be too dark, not have any dimension to it. You can see it showing up with the heat gun and I don't know, it was just really fun even though it smelled like bleach and I hate the smell of bleach even if it's just a tiny bit in a quite a lot of water. 
it still smelled and I just I hate it I really don't like it but yeah I definitely want to try out I just oh it looks so cool so I really it's something I really would like to try out and maybe even do a video about because I just find it really fun and I also really want to paint again with bleach using ink because I used it on the purple jade as well outside of the video I was just messing a little bit with the drawing in the end with the purple jade it turns to straight up white it's really really cool so I think I could do some very nice effects just playing with it and I think it would be just fun. So do let me know if you like me to do a video with drawing with bleach because it's fun. <laughs> it's stinky but it's fun. And I really really do want to try out with the totes. I still have a bunch of the black totes done so I don't know if I'm able to do it straight away because I have very limited storage at my house. So I can't just like order a bunch more totes and be like, oh, it's fine, I'll, st I'll stick them somewhere. I won't. I don't have the space. This video is almost done. I'm just going to say goodbye here and let you guys enjoy the rest. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you don't mind that next week there won't be a video. It's just too crazy. Uh, if I do find the time, I will try or maybe try and do a live that way. Do let me know what you prefer because it's it's just been a crazy time and even though I'm way ahead of schedule, the stress is coming. <laughs> so I'm trying to take it easy, but I also love doing videos for you guys, so do let me know. Don't forget you can use the code BABQART to get 10% off your next Ferris Fuel Press order. Subscribe, leave a like and do let me know in the comments what do you think of this drawing. Have you used bleach to paint before? Do you like it? And do let me know what you prefer for me to do next week and the followings. I would love to hear you guys' opinion. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!